Hey there, how's it going everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Master Grade Destiny Gundam made by Bandai in 2007. This is actually my first Master Grade and I don't know much about Gundam Seed, for I'm a Gundam noob, but the amazing box art on this kit really got my hobby senses tingling. The mobile suit wielding that gigantic sword and the energy created by the lightning and the moving water, it's just great. Inside the box, you get 15 sprues, or runners, I call them sprues, blame my main hobby. A small foil sticker sheet that's not too bad, some rub on decals, and a largish sheet of clear stickers. All of this comes together to make a great looking mobile suit. The colour separation out of the box is decent, I'm a big fan of the face. Only the eyes and camera stickers and the rest is all separate parts which really makes the head pop. The wings on the back, coupled with the extended shoulders, really lend a lot of presence to the kit. This is enhanced by the dark grey and red colours that contrast nicely with the blue and the light blue grey of the body. There's not really much panel lining required in this kit, but I always like to do it as I really think it completes the look. The posability in this kit is pretty much what I expected from a master grade, having already built a handful of high grades, but it's not without some issues. The head can move up and down, left, right and 360 pretty easy, and it can do a little chicken movement. The shoulder pads can rotate independently, and this bit moves. But they can pop loose sometimes, and that is a bit annoying. The arm moves up this far, rotate here, and here, and the hand is on the ball joint. Double bend at the elbow. The thumb and trigger finger are on separate ball joints, and the rest of the fingers are joined. But you can separate them and put them in immature gestures, like the OK symbol. Why, what did you think I was going to do? The shoulders have a great gimmick to move out here and here, showing off some beautiful detail inside. This allows him to hold that awesome two-handed sword. More on that later. The waist only really has some rotation, and if you flip this clip at the back, he can lean back, but no forward crunch. It's a little disappointing. The cockpit opens up, little pilot inside, each section of the skirt is on a ball joint, which makes for a great range of movement. Leg kicks forward this far, kicks back this far. There's a super nice gimmick on the leg armour, and knee armour when you bend it. It's nice, I like it. Rotate here. This brings me to my biggest bugbear with this kit. For some reason, there's a split locking mechanism on the legs. Aside from making it do a slightly bigger split, I can only see its purpose is to take some of the fun out of posing the figure. It clips open any time you move the legs, and it just goes all floppy. Frustrating. The feet move back that far, move up that far, and pivot pretty well. The boosters on the calves, they move a bit too. The wings can open up like this, and have a cool gimmick that opens them out in the full spread. Except, they don't fully reset when closing. I don't know, maybe I'm just being picky. The wings pop out, can rotate, and bend like so. They also pivot here for a large range of articulation. There's a little movement in the boosters, and these weapon holders are attached on little arms fixed by ball joints for a large amount of movement. And here is the kit with all the accessories it comes with. Nice beam rifle with a movable handle and scope. A cool energy shield effect. A solid shield that opens up. A huge long range beam cannon that can unfold and the handle twists to make the scope pop out. Pretty cool. And that absolutely massive bean sword. This thing is taller than the mobile suit and it just looks so cool. This is the thing that first drew me into this kit. But then I found out it's an anti-ship sword. As in anti-battleships. You also get five beam saber effects. One for the giant sword. Two attach to these smaller parts to make a pair of cool looking beam sabers, and two angled shorter beam effects, which I thought were weird angled sabers, but then I did some research and I found out they are in fact beam boomerangs. I mean, if that's not a weapon that puts coolness over practicality, I don't know what is. The cannon and sword pack away on the backpack nicely. The kit comes with five different hands, two with the postable fingers, two with the palms open that show off the palm cannons, and one closed fist for holding the massive anti-ship sword. You also get two standing pilots and one seated. I don't know their names. One of the best accessories this kit comes with is the base. It's not as good or as poseable as the official action bases, but I'm cheap, and I really appreciate its inclusion. The only points of articulation are here and here, the bottom of the base is shaped in a similar way to the wings, which is nice. 
In conclusion, I think this is a pretty great kit. It's let down by the weird mechanism in the hips and the shoulder pads popping off, but if you have some patience and the issues can be overcome, you can get some really amazing poses. I'm pretty pleased with this as my first Master Grade and I will be building more in the future. And maybe I'll even paint the kit, assuming I overcome my laziness. So why don't you tell me what you thought of the Master Grade Destiny Gundam down in the comments below. There will be more kits coming in the future, I do have an idea for my next kit as I'm super excited. And don't forget to like, subscribe and be zen.